Reuters, U.S. stock indexes were set to open on Wednesday at levels not seen in about a month after the latest batch of earnings including Morgan Stanley, MSN, added to optimism about the U.S. corporate reporting season. The Wall Street Bank rose 1.5% in pre-market trading after it reported a 40% jump in quarterly profit, driven by its trading business. Arch-rival Goldman Sachs, GSN, which also reported a trading revenue surge on Tuesday, was up 0.3%. At 8.38 a.m. ET, Dow E-minis 1YMC1 were up 84 points, or 0.34%. S&P 500 E-minis ESC1 rose 9.75 points, or 0.36% and Nasdaq 100 E-minis NQC1 gained 20.5 points, or 0.30%. A Euro earnings continue to progress on the positive side and commodities are also on the rise, that should give the markets another boost A Euro said Peter Cardillo, chief market economist at Spartan Capital Securities in New York. Stocks have gained solidly in the past two days after strong results from industry bellwethers as well as positive economic data helped investors turn attention away from geopolitical and trade tensions. U.S. President Donald Trump said on Wednesday that Mike Pompeo, the current CIA director and his nominee to be the top U.S. diplomat, met with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un last week. A euro or if they should be able to strike some sort of an agreement, that would remove one of the many geopolitical fears a euro said Cardillo. Oil prices jumped more than 1.5 percent, lifted by a reported decline in U.S. crude inventories and the risk of supply disruptions. Exxon, XOMN, and Chevron, CVXN, were up more than 0.5 percent. O slash R. S&P 500 companies are expected to post an 18.6% rise in profits in the first quarter, the biggest increase in seven years, according to Thomson Reuters data. United Airlines, UALN, rose 3.2% after the U.S. carrier reported a rise in profit, helped by higher fares. CSX Corp., CSXO, was up 5.2% after the railroad operator topped profit estimates, benefiting from a cost-cutting drive. IBM, IBMN, a Dow component, fell 5.6% after the technology company reported profit margins that fell short of Wall Street expectations. The Federal Reserve will issue its so-called Beige Book, a compendium of anecdotes on the health of the economy, at 2 p.m. ET.